Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a really great day. Thanks for stopping by to spend some of it with me. Today, as you can tell, we are going to be looking at my top 10 favorite pink polishes. You know I am not crazy about pink polish, but these are my 10 most tolerable pink polishes. So, um, you know, I am an equal opportunist. I do like to give pink polishes a try. So I have plenty of pink polishes from which to take them the contestants for this video. Um, so I had lots to choose from. But, um, you know, it's just not really one of my favorite things to wear. But these that I've chosen today are certified loveliness from a, you know, a non-pink lover. I mean, so if I'm telling you that these are great and I don't even really like pinks that much, well then, there you go. These are probably pretty great, right? So anyway, don't forget to let me know in the comments below and let all of us know in the comments below what some of your favorite pinks are because certainly I'm not going to cover all of the best pinks out there. You're not all going to agree with me and um, I'm sure everybody would love to hear what your favorites are too. So leave that in the comments below and we can all kind of have a discussion about it and this can be our place to share. Um, you know what the best pinks are out there and you can tell me and certainly I will learn of some new pinks that I need to be aware of too. So we'll start with what's on my nail so that I don't keep you wondering too long. Um, this one is in this list because I think it is one of my favorite just like medium pinks and um, it's from Sally Hansen. It is Insta Dry Speedy Sunburst. And the reason it's in here is because of formula. This is a thick formula, however, um, if you don't get too much on your brush, you can just get a nice easy one coat application. That's what I've got here. No top coat. It's nice and glossy. I love Insta Dry because um, most of the time you just have like a real no nonsense application of your polish. So this one made it in. I like the color. It's pleasant for me to wear and um, I like the application. wondering the um, lippy that I'm wearing is Jordana Modern Matte in um, Tees. Yeah, that's what that is. Alright, so the next polish on my list was a no-brainer for me. This is one of my very favorites from OPI. This is OPI Sparrow Me the Drama. When I need a nice like um, dusty mauve pink, this is always a good go-to. Um, there's another one that's kind of similar in that range and it's Julep Joy, but I like the application of this one better, so I chose this one. And yeah, this is just a really great classic from OPI, and if you like dusty pinks, then you will love this one. Alright, speaking of dusty things, the next polish that we are um, going to talk about is OCC Grandma. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it was a joke about grandmas being dusty. I'm actually a grandma. I'm a step grandma. So um, I feel like this polish is so fun. I just like that they have a sense of humor. Um, I remember when I originally reviewed this, I thought, you know, I don't really think grandma when I see this color. But anyway, it's a gorgeous corally pink. Um, it's pretty much a one coater, you know, you might need to, but you can get away with one if you have a nice careful application. I just really like it. So this one had to be in here.
All right, we're gonna go from dusty pinks to hot pinks. This is my very favorite, like, feisty, hot, hot pink. And it is from Orly, and it is called O oh Cabana Boy. And the reason why it's in here is because of all that purple flash. This polish, I can't wear that often because it is so intense, but it is just, wow, look at that. I mean, if you've never taken a look at this polish, I hope that you enjoy it today. If you were looking for a super, super hot pink, I feel like that's what it is because it has that purple in there. It just makes it super vibrant. So um, this definitely isn't a one coater. It has a little bit of a thinner formula, but it builds really nicely. And I ended up liking a lot how it looked on the nail. So let me show you. So this next polish is one of my favorite color club polishes ever and this one is called Peace, Love and Polish and it came out this summer. Uh, it's just so gorgeous. Besides the Orly Cabana Boy, this is one of my other very favorite hot pinks. It's this medium hot pink. It's not as dark as Kapow from the same collection which was in my top polishes of all of 2014. By the way, I didn't mention in the red collect portion of this um, series that I'm trying purposefully to pick polishes that were not in that video. So you're not going to see any polishes that were in my tops for 2014 because I've already talked about them and swatched them for you. So without reiterating, just like in the red one, I did not put Essie um, Dress to Kilt in that video. That was my very favorite red. I didn't put it in there, um, but it is very good. and. Um, Color Club Kapow is very good, but this is its sister, and it's this medium pink with yellow shimmer running all throughout. So gorgeous. I just love this one so much. I'm so f just in love with it, and I'm so happy that they put it out this last summer. So anyway, let's take a look at it. So speaking of summer polishes, another um, pink that I feel like you absolutely must have if you are a polish lover and specifically if you love pink polish, this is China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy. And this could not not be in this collection for me because it's just a super great light neon pink. It has kind of that um, neon formula where they sometimes have that chalky feeling formula um, and it does dry matte. So. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like pink chalk on your nails, but it's super, super bright. Just be careful with application. It's not the best, but um, it's one of a kind in my collection for sure. So I had to put it in. Right, so a couple light pinks. I don't have a ton of light pinks in this collection. I guess I just don't really care to wear like baby pinks. But the two lightest ones that I have, the first one I'm gonna show you is L'Oreal Acid Watermelon. I really like this one because it's like a super bright light pink. So um, I think this one's great and the application is nice. It's nice and smooth in two coats and I think that they did a great job with this one.
All right, and the other polish that's very similar is Zoya Kittredge, and um, I know there's sometimes some confusion about the spelling of this one. The bottle of my, um, the tag on mine says Kit Ridge, K-I-T. And on Zoya's website, that's what they call this too. So I don't know if maybe there were some that were mislabeled perhaps. But um, yes, this is an absolutely gorgeous polish. It's pretty much as light of a pink as I like to go. And it has such a nice formula. It's practically a one coater. I mean, you probably want to, you know, as light pinks go. But what I'm trying to say is it's really nice and um, yeah, I really love it. Alright, so um, for my last two, I have two more from China Glaze, and first up, I have Dune Our Thing. And I remember when I first reviewed this, um, it was from the China Glaze Last Summer collection. I was thinking that this was more of a purple, but I stuck it in here today because I feel like it's the polish that definitely is that my, my most favorite, like, deep berry, um cream that just I mean it's it's a little bit pink it's a little bit purple it's right in the middle there I just really love this one it's so pretty on the nail um you know like I've said a million times I don't love pink polish but this one just is really nice on the nail so anyway I totally recommend this one to you let me show you show you is one of my very favorite um, finds this last year as far as pinks are concerned and it came about because Tim reviewed the um, breast cancer awareness um, kind of like collection that China Glaze had and they included this polish called strawberry fields and it was not new to that collection but I hadn't had it before and as you can see it's kind of this basic pink but it's full of gold shimmer I just love it when polish is just add that extra when you know when they have that little extra pop in it for you and this one this one I don't want to say which of these is my favorite but this one's my favorite um <laughs> no for real though I just really love this polish I love how it looks on the nail if you don't have it I totally recommend it to you it's not like a one coater or anything um you know the it's a little bit sheer actually but it's totally buildable and I would even do three coats for this baby. That's how much I like it. You know, if I'm going to give something a chance and do three coats on it, it must be worth it. So I'm not even kidding. Um, let's check it out. So those are all my pinks. I hope you were in a pink mood today. I guess I was in a pink mood today. I was ready to give some pink polish some love. Of course, let me know down below what your favorite pink polishes are. Maybe you can convert me to be a pink polish lover. Um, I hope you're having a really great day. Thanks for spending some of it with me. And next up is going to be the orange polishes. So that will be interesting. Um, yeah, I'll see you back next time. Bye.